Hey everybody, thanks a lot for rounding out my review-a-thon with me here. Um, this video is going to be all about MAC eyeshadows. I don't have a huge MAC collection. I have uh, 10 eyeshadows, and I'm sure that will hopefully continue to grow over time, but right now this is where I'm at, and I'm kind of at a point where I've got some shades that I love, reach for often, just really would not want to do without. Then I've got some shades that I'm kind of like, eh, you know, they're really good, but I just don't use them all that much. And then I've got some that I think, really, you could go to the drugstore and probably find something similar. So um, I guess I'm kind of doing this review because a lot of people ask me if you, you know, it's my first time going to a Mac store, what do I need to get? And I'm not the Mac expert, but I do ha have definitely formed some opinions on these products. So I wanted to go through and tell you what I think, and I guess I'm inspired by Cold Stone, <laughs> the ice cream place, because, you know, they have the different sizes, uh, like it, love it, gotta have it, I think, are the three, and so those are the three categories I have here, and I only have ten shadows to go through, so this isn't going to take very long, but um, I'm starting with the like it. So these are shades that I still really like. I mean, I like all, of, all the colors I have, but... Um, I don't find them to be absolutely essential or something you couldn't find elsewhere. So the first one that I'm going to talk about that's like that is Naked Lunch. This is one of the first ones I had. I do enjoy this shade. Um, as you can see, it's got some sparkle to it, but it's um, not a lot. And it's also somewhat, I don't know, it's not the smoothest texture ever. There's another highlight I'm going to talk about that I'm absolutely in love with, but this one, I mean, is just like it's got some shimmer. It's not entirely white. It's got like maybe a hint of uh, pink or like another neutral in there, but I just swatched it there and I just don't find it to be very intense or like something I just absolutely need or couldn't find in the drugstore somewhere. So um, yeah, that's Naked Lunch by MAC. I like it, but you know, that's kind of how I feel about it. The other one that I have that I like and that a lot of people have raved about, but for me, I just don't know. I think it's pretty, but Again, it's not one of a kind, and it's woodwinked, and it's a, and um, this one, I don't know if I told you, Laked Lunch was a frost, this one is a Velux Pearl, and so this is what it looks like here in the container. It catches a lot of light, it's very reflective, and it has a lot of gold in it. I mean, this is basically like, I don't know, I'm holding up my hand here and I'm thinking, how many times have I swatched a shade from a Coastal Sense palette, like the Metal Mania palette, that looked like that? Hate to say it, Mac lovers, but I mean, this shade, it really, I mean, what it's got going for it that's somewhat unique is just how metallic it really is, but it's kind of like a brownish gold, and you will find this shade elsewhere, I promise you. The drugstore is loaded with shimmer shades, and while I enjoy this one, and I will continue to use this one, and it's nice all over the lid, and it kind of makes the eyes pop, um, this kind of metallic shade is out there. I tell you, you look at the Coastal Sense Metal, Metal Mania palette and I assure you there is a shade in there that has this kind of quality to it. So, yes, like it, but that's the category it's in for me. The other shade that I have that I really haven't used a lot, and maybe it's just because it's been found multiple times within other palettes that I own, um, and it's a matte shade and it is in Bark. So a dark brown, um, yeah, I mean, it's nice. I do like it. It's fairly bold, but it's actually not as bold as even some drugstore colors, I think. Like, I'm swatching it here, and I'm not getting a very good swatch on it. I don't know why. Like, th here it is here on my finger. But, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I just don't use it that often. And I think it's kind of average, really. It's not it, It's not that, it doesn't have quite that creamy texture as you swatch it. I don't know what the deal is, but yeah, Embark is just kind of a like it shade because it's sort of average for me. So, okay, now we've gotten through those. Now these are the love it uh, shades. These are shades that I really, really enjoy, um, but they're not my absolute like can't do without kind of shades, if that makes sense. So. First one is Satin Taupe. It is a frost, and it's really nice because it's got like, um, you know, it's not gray, and it's not brown, but it's neutral, it's shimmery, and I, my favorite use for this is if I have a light shade on the corner of my eye, I put this on the outer part of the lid, and it just deepens it up, and it creates a beautiful kind of like fade into a slightly darker color. So here it is there. It's really pretty. 
Um, there's a shade called Tapestry Taupe from CoverGirl that reminds me a little bit of this, but it's not quite as dark. Um, but there it is. It's pretty. I mean, I, I, I enjoy this shade. That's why I, it's in my love it category, but, you know, it's, it's not like absolute, oh my gosh, couldn't do without it. Next shade that I really like, but that you're going to find duplicated often is called Night Divine, and it is a Velux Pearl. And this is interesting because it has a slight bluish tone, but otherwise may kind of appear to be a charcoal gray sort of shade. To swatch that for you, here's what it kind of looks like there. You can pick up on the bluish tones. And then on my hand, there it is. This is nice to wear all over your lid and then use a darker shade in the crease and it's a pretty smoky look while still making the lids pop because this color has some shine to it. So, th yeah, this is nice, but if you get a, I mean, these days in my, like, for example, in my e.l.f. Uh, uh, beauty book, the smoky kit, I mean, there is a shade that kind of reminds me of this quite a bit, actually. It goes on well, and I prefer, th I really like this texture, um, but, yeah, it's, it's not uh, one of a kind, I guess you'd say. Next shade I'm going to talk about in my love it category is probably one of a kind, and it is called Trax, and it's a velvet and I have this on my lid today and I really enjoy this color. I just don't use it all that much and maybe it's because I can't quite put my finger on it. It's like it looks light purple, at times it looks darker purple, and then it's got gold in it too and I just I just don't know. I, I should use it more honestly because I, it is a really pretty color. Um, swatched on my finger, there's what it looks like. Pretty really pretty purple. It's got some you know gold tones to it and then swatched on my finger it's right or on my hand it's right here it's like it I mean it, it's it looks kind of neutrally it packed on your lid I mean it really is pretty it's kind of hard to pick up on on that swatch but I like that shade I love that shade I just don't use it maybe as often as I should okay these next four are probably my absolute favorites they are I mean I've gone through one two three four five six seven eight nine ten these four are my yes I would absolutely recommend them colors uh, first one is shroom this is the shade I have as my highlight and it looks very just white there this is a satin shade gotta find a bare finger here um, I like that this I just, it's a fantastic texture on this color. It is right here. And it just has, when it catches the light, it has an appearance that's practically like glossy. I mean, it just, it's really, really pretty. It's not overboard, be, and, a, and there are so many whites that you will run into in the drugstore that have like a chunky, chalky, um, glittery sparkle to them. This gives you the shine and highlight you want, but it is a beautiful texture. So I love Shroom for that reason. Another shade that I love that I just use continuously, it's also in this look as my crease shade, and that is Sketch. And I think this is gorgeous. It's a pretty plum shade. It has, it's a, a velvet shade and it has a little bit of sparkle there as you can see really close in. I mean the sparkle is kind of a maroonish purple, um, very, very uh, fine glimmer I guess that's in there. And I get a lot of use out of this shade. I use this practically like, you know, a neutral, like I used to use browns and stuff. Yeah, I'm using this so much. And you can see it's just like a, a nice, deep, kind of burgundy purple plum. And, I mean, those shades look great on brown eyes. And really, any color, I feel like um, it's warmer. There is a, warm, a warmth to, to colors like this that really just make the eyes look pretty. And so that's part of why I like Sketch so much. Really, really just rave review about that. Um, next one that I really like is Carbon because it is a flat out matte black. It is as black as it gets. I love this color. You're going to probably struggle somewhat to find all out purely, I'm talking purely matte, black, rich color. I mean this also isn't, um, it doesn't create fallout for me. It's packed densely enough here that like, okay, I can get 
that pure black color, but it's not so soft. You know, sometimes you stick a brush in something and it's like shadow is starting to go everywhere and you really deal with fallout a lot. You, I don't deal with a lot of fallout with this, okay? You get your brush in it, you get the shadow on. It's it's just a great black for that smoky eye to use as liner. I mean, I like the, the multiple purposes that this shade has and that you can just count on the fact that there is no sparkle in this whatsoever. So that is a shade that works great alongside more colorful, bright, glossy, sparkly shades that you put on and then this can be your liner your crease shade your you know contour and whatnot and it just looks really great another shade that I love to warm up any look and it is called cranberry it's a frost and I love it just love it I mean it is so pretty it's this gorgeous red um, here's how it looks on my finger look at just how that color shines I mean and it's pretty with a bigger brush there's a there's a concentrated swatch of it right there but what I like doing is taking a fluffier brush getting it in here and then applying it like right up in this area so you've got a darker brown or black in the crease and then you just lightly put cranberry there I don't have it on right now but you know you buff that on and it just, like if you were to blend that out a little bit more, I mean, it just creates the nicest warm look there. I, I love it. I have not found a whole lot that's like this, except possibly there is a reddish shade in the CoverGirl Drama Eyes kit that reminds me a little bit of this, but it's not quite as um, pretty or a, this is a little bit brighter basically um, but I love it so hopefully that breaks down for you exactly how I feel about my MAC shadows I think as a whole quality is great across the board there are just some shades that I don't reach for as much that I don't find to be as unique and special and then those four shades that I just now mentioned that I think are absolutely fantastic. So hopefully this guides you a little bit through your next trip to the MAC store and um, that concludes today's review a thon I will probably do more in the future and if there are particular products you want to see reviewed just let me know and if you want to see more tutorials with MAC shadows tell me. That doesn't mean I'm going to abandon drugstore tutorials but if there are certain color combos that you would like to see me kind of show you on camera just let me know so thanks a lot guys for watching have a great day and a great week